Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Here for another episode of Ghost Hunt Alive. So, nothing because of that two, er, two earthquakes, we had it back to back. So today, we're going to have a full normal episode shot in one day. Look forward to that. I'm in my mighty duck orange dress. As well as wearing their draft hat for this year. How awesome is that? So it's going to be a great show planned for you today. Hopefully today goes nice and smooth. So uh, nice and smooth. It's going to be a good day. See you guys in a little bit. All right, here we go. And here's a better idea. Oh, here's a better idea, Mr. Howe. Get a fair key. Man, we're going to 
Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Get around. We got news. Come on, everybody. We almost there. Folks, gather around. We've got the news. Sit down, folks. Get close. Yeah, the around. Gather around. Come on, folks. I have to shut this on the crowd. Folks, please cover your ears. Shut up. Okay. You want to cover your ears? He's being typical, Nate. Okay. <laughs> It's a telegram from the citizens of Calico from the United States Cavalry Office of General Grant Higginbotham. It says a squad of soldiers under my command has been dispatched with orders to scout town of Calico as possible location for new force. Mm -hmm. uh, once the troops investigation is complete, they are to report their findings to me personally, signed General Grant Higginbotham. Yeah. for the people of the town of Calico. And we will be relying heavily upon the brave sheriff and his very stalwart deputies to help all of us put our best foot forward. Well, you can count on us. Right, we can always count on you. Oh, my word, people, can you imagine the town of Calico getting its own fort wipe? Oh, we could actually become the jewel of the West. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, it, it doesn't say. Oh, everybody, please be on your best behavior, especially you Mayfield. So, and keep your eyes peeled. Deputy Mayor, do you mind? Not at all, Deputy. Go right ahead. You heard him, folks. We're going to need all the help we can get to get this town in shape. And we should always use help in the sheriff's office, cleaning and organizing or filing warrants and filling out wanted posters. And at 1155, we've got a posse meeting right here in front of the sheriff's office. We're going to go clean up this town, and we could use your help. Absolutely, and I'll need some help down at the post office as well. Oh, my word, I can always use a bag load of help down in town. In fact, people, find one of these here town citizens and ask how you can lend a hand. Dig in and help out so we can get that fort. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, this is all fine and good, but I mean, today is Founder's Day. We're supposed to be having fun, am I right? Yeah. 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 We're just about to have the next one of our Founder's Day contests. Mark it on your watch. Down at the Silver Dollar Shooting Gallery, I'm going to have a shooting competition. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Come on in, join me, and let's celebrate Founders Day. That's not coincidental, because the Mayfields are having a Mayfield Day game right outside the shooting oh, gallery at the right. exact same time, 1130. I'll see you right. there. Come on, word. Don't forget, if you're good with the iron, step up yeah. and prove it. Enjoy the game. But please help us out. And ladies and gentlemen, if you see those cavalry officers, they will be noted by brilliant blue uniforms with gold buttons and yellow adornments and accompaniment. If you see them, please notify either the sheriff's office or my staff at town hall. Now get out there, people. Dig in. Get us that fort and make Calico the jewel of the West. Right. Come on up here, sharpshooters. We're now going to get tough. The next one, you see there's a lamp on the ceiling. Now you're not just going to just shoot at that. Yep, up on the ceiling. You're going to balance on one foot and hit the target on the ceiling. That's not tough. Come on, give it a try. Come on right up on the ceiling. Hang down there. Balance it on one foot. All right. Oh, this is going to have some tough All right. Oh, okay. We got our blue ribbon winner here. All right. And guess what? I have the next. Did you want to take your chance on it? Well, I've got some free shots. Come on. It's free. And for the rest of you, we're going to shoot you. If you want to come in and grab a free shot, come on in. Now, don't worry, this is a real gentle gun. It won't be kicked back if it's not very noisy. Real party, Matt. And just name it one of the red lights.
And this is kind of incriminating. Two strips, like a creature in the grass, we live on earthy things. We are, we are slowly coming for you and your family. My goodness, someone likes to write stars. Yes. You did yes. get town. If you don't, don't. boot here is going to be a few plus bigger. Oh. Oh. Well, this matter of you. We mean it. it. Time is running out. The man bug? The man bug. The man bug. That bug. The silly snake, snake, snake in the grass. grass. Who's the snake in the grass? That's the weirdest letter I've ever seen in my life. What, what why is it? it? Oh, I guess, I guess it's like a winding snake. That's why it's so on. That makes too much sense. Very brilliant. That makes I way mean, too much sense. You know that fellow wrote it in an earthquake. Oh, that's weird. We did have a few earthquakes, so I'm not surprised. I don't know about two, Miss Dynamite, but that's surely a death threat as I ever seen one. Yeah, that, that, that is not a pleasant letter. No. And plus, you know, it, it's definitely death threat. Because if they're going to put anyone in boot field, they're going to have to run it past me first. So. Well, we end up moving it. Okay. What, what, here's what's what weird. What are you going to do about it, Abigail? Well, I'm going to find out if somebody knows. I already told the sheriff's office and Okay, well let's get you can show all the All right, here we go. Oh. Oh boy. All right, Walker.
Kennebo. protection in your town. From protection from what? You? Oh, oh. That's all right. That's all right. Protection from who? How about, how about protection from outlaws of gangs roaming the Badlands, waiting to take advantage of poor, hapless pioneers such as yourself, just trying to make your way west? How about gangs like 
the Mad Bucks Gang. A gang so vicious and the leader so ruthless, they'd rather shoot you than look at you. These are the top criminals your sheriff's office is not prepared to handle. Now, we want to reward you that for it, which is why Private Otis and I will be making a report to the general uh, on your daily operations of your local businesses and offices. We're paid focus to your town bank in your sheriff's office. We hope that report will be a positive one. Oh, my word, well, if you need anything, and I do mean anything from town hall, do not hesitate to ask. It's an honor to have you here, sir. In fact, we all feel a lot safer now than here, don't we, everybody? That. Now we need to take this prisoner over to the sheriff's office. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and move him around. Okay, right, Mark. Right, One, Mark. Left, left, left. Right, ladies and gentlemen, don't let that unpleasantness dampen your day. It's still Founders Day or Mayfield Day, whatever the heck you celebrate. And we are going to have a competition at 12:40 with a bean bag and a bucket. It's going to be a fire brigade practice. It's a lot of fun. We'd love to see you here. Now get out there, people, and celebrate Calico, the jewel of the West. All right, here we go. Oh. 
All right, next. There's one. Two. Three for three, and I think she's our big winner. There's one. DQ. Are we going to get a three-way tie here? And, oh! Got it.
are going to be How reporting those findings to General Grant Higginbotham to see whether or not they build a fort here, and Dan Gilman, they got an important announcement to make. Woo. So, without further ado, put your hands together for the brain, Sergeant Martin, of the yeah. United States Cavalry. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Finish the cow, so ask me. No worries, thank you. Uh, as the mayor just said, uh, we have been looking into your procedures of your local businesses and offices, paying close attention to your town bank and your sheriff's office. And we feel that our findings will be ready to be revealed around 2.30? Uh, 2.30. Please give us a hint. I mean, I'm like dying, and Herbert's over here ready to no, you know I'm curious, woman. I mean, I am always. I remember one time I asked my mom how they made butter. Or something. So you were saying, sorry. Uh, as I was saying, we're not only looking into this town from uh, the uh, point of security, but also compatibility. Will the citizens of council be able to cohabitate with the military? Are there any peculiarities in this town that want to make it a good fit? <laughs> Sergeant, you are not going to find that to be the case at all. Once you get to know the people of the town of Calico, you're going to learn they're nice, normal, hard-working folks. Milton, 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 Milton. Look at that. What's all the commotion about? I have just made an important discovery. You see, I was visiting the museum when I found this statue was sitting on this note. Okay. Right. Now, this just ain't any note. It's actually signed by our town founder, Pop Wing Lee, and it has a specific date and location, and it will lead us to my greatest treasure. Ooh. Yeah, now, being a member of the Paranormal Investigator Society. Paranormal not, Investigator Society. Hey, 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 I don't need to go on a report. That's just a little kids club they put together. It's a little because thing. It's a real mystery that's happening in our town. Well, now, as the representative of Mr. Hop Wingley, I will need to take this statue and this note. Hold on a minute, Mr. Burns. Hey! Hold on a minute. Just because your client owns the town don't mean he owns everything in all the buildings. That thing is public property. I'm the public. That's my property. And if there's some money to be made in this town, I'm going to make it. Now, hand it over. Hey, 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 hey. Come in! Come in! Hard-working folks. Yeah. We got an investigation to see, so if you do not mind, we got some recruits to find. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, find some recruits. All right, we need some recruits. Everyone, come over here. Come over here. Okay, uh, boy, uh, looking glass, ready to take that dragon inside and... And if anybody wants to solve the mystery and find a treasure here in town, you can come inside and no more arguing. I don't want to lose this fort of lack to figure what he's here in Mayfield. Ooh. No, 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 this time it's Mayfield. All right, here we go. Pony race. You should go back to him and say you like us. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're having our deal. What? You had something to say? You good to deal? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're having our deal. Our annual. Pony races here at the Calico Derby. So let's hear it for our jockeys. Let's give them some applause, right? Thank you very much for that. All right, jockeys, are you ready? Yeah! On your mark, get set, go!
we go. Blue ribbon. All right, here we go. All right, moment of truth. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Tim. Are we going to get the citizens of Calico? We're going to find out. Are we gather around, gather around. Gather around. I have an important announcement from the porch of Town Hall. <clears throat> what word? It was an exciting moment, everybody. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you may or may not know, earlier today we received a telegram. A telegram which stated that the town of Calico was being considered as a possible site for the construction of a United States Cavalry Force. <laughs> now, the cavalry arrived earlier today and they have been conducting a thorough investigation of our beloved community to determine whether or not Calico would be a good fit for a military installation. And they're going to be reporting their findings directly to General Grant Higginbotham himself. <laughs> but before they do that, they're going to read that okay, report I don't know why that's to funny. you, the good people of Calico. So please, put your hands together. Pull the brains. Sergeant Martin of the United States Cavalry! Thank you, good men and women of Calico. Private Oda tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Private Oda tonight, thank your kindness and hospitality you bestowed on us. Your thoughtfulness and benevolence makes it even harder to say that uh, we will not be recommending the building of Fort Calico. Following is the list of observations concerning uh, the town of Calico. Yeah. The town bank is owned by an amnesiatic train robber and employs a bank guard who is a known bank thief. The staff of the bank routinely loses the combination to the bolt and seems to be unable to keep a group of incompetent local outlaws from robbing in on a daily basis. The town hall is in a constant turmoil as well as oh. the sheriff's office. That is the jail houses a prisoner has been in a cell so long he has lost the ability to physically move. <laughs> and lastly, the whole town features citizens to go out of their way to have out-of-towners do their jobs instead of themselves. Thank you very much. And that just scratched the surface, so we are forced to inform the general to remove Calico from the potential site list. Woo no, no, now hold on a minute. I know we got a lot to work on around here, but then it's coming. Isn't that something we can do to persuade you to change your mind about this decision? You see, I'm not even worried about that report anymore. I'm more worried about the citizens of Calico. And what if the Mad Bucks came, would to come into the town? Who oh would protect God. the citizens of Calico? Who would protect their assets or valuable funds? It's certainly not the uh, town bank, and clearly not the sheriff's office. That's why you have to help us. I mean, I know everybody sees me as some sort of uh, stuffy shirt of lawyer. Yes. But, 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 but I love the town of Calico, and Wait. that port would mean so much to these people. Well, there has to be something that we can do. So first, what I would do is remove all your uh, assets from the bank and put them over to the custody of the U.S. Calvary. Come on, bring over the right. So we're going to make this the new treasury and put all the assets How did they get that, did they get that wagon out of the undertaker's military, office? Uh, uh, we're getting right here. You and uh, Private Owens and I. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a part at the sheriff's office 24-7, around the clock, where you will be guarding this treasury. So that does not make you feel a lot safer. Yeah. Now, okay. every day, yeah. every day, every day, 24 hours every single day, you'll be guarding it. I'll be right there, right next to you. Well, if you're guarding it, you can take out. Well, no, wait, no, no, that might. Oh, 
That might be the play pitch, you know, the big pass off the top floor. And that's the first step. All right, all right. Let's play what we are doing, Pat. Let's go to the bank. Let's get it. Let's get it. Wait, wait a second. Oh, hi. That's even more suspicious. Why do they put the money out of the bank? And yet, yeah. So wait, so they brought up the mad bus again. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, isn't it? Right, right, Scrub, they're making them walk like this. All right. Right, when we say come in there, hope, you say one, two, come in there, hope. One, two. One, two. Yeah, yeah, that's good, Steve. You did a good job. I like it. Very good, very good. You can help your team. Suspicious, Tiny. Get ready for more. That, that threat test has all the town's assets from the bank. All right. You're clear. 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 And you are good. Here we are.
Make way for the accused. Make way for. I believe justice is in way. Make way for the accused. Oh, a lot of people came out here to see this. Oh, you yeah, have a right down here. Gather around. Gather around. You stay down there. 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 You Mr. Bird, oh, uh, <laughs> would you please do the honors? Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> uh, uh, hear ye, hear ye. Court is hereby called to order. The Honorable Judge Abigail Dynamite presiding. That's right. Oh, oh, uh, Tiny Mayfield, you are hereby charged with the crime of bank robbing. How do you plead? Not guilty. Oh my god. Has anyone seen the wagon? Oh no. Dang nabbit. I knew it. It's gone. Oh, wait. Oh my god. I just Wait, the cavalry. Well, isn't this great? <laughs> Milton, it's gone. Where's the money? <laughs> All right, Sergeant Martin, come on out here. Show yourself. Yeah. What do you mean they're all gone? What the, now, hold on a minute. Wait 
a minute, wait a minute. There's got to be a, a rational explanation for all of this. I'll tell you what the rational explanation is. You have all been robbed. Oh, this is rigged. You have had every single dollar stolen, and not by the man that you wrongfully accused. It's like my Mima always says, never judge a book by its cover until you've walked a mile in that man's book. I think my brother is free to go. Yes. 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 cabin out. Yes, sir, the rides are officially returning. But don't forget, after the Whiskerino or Hoedown, we're going to go on the mine for one ride. And then we'll uh, head to the Hoedown, and that'll be the end of this week's episode. Stay tuned tomorrow for a, a round of Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge. We'll be going back in there for the second time as we'll show off more of the Easter eggs of the original trilogy. Even though people say, oh, there's not, nothing in there that says the original Star Wars. There is. And I'll be pointing that out. I'll be pointing that out. Pointing those out tomorrow. I'll be pointing those out tomorrow. As well as the other Main Street vehicles. Unfortunately, um... Unfortunately, I, we are trying to get the, we try to get the GoPro going. Unfortunately, we're still trying to get it back up and running again. So unfortunately, GoPro action will be limited, uh, will not happen until Friday. I, ap I apologize for the inconvenience, but that being said, we still got plenty of on-ride content for you on Friday. So there's that as well. As we are closing in on that one hour mark that we need, Sky Cabin is dropping and I have to hurry. I guess I'm going to do this. And there's the Timber Mountain Log Ride is celebrating its 50th anniversary tomorrow. I wanted to avoid that at all costs. All right, that at all costs. Which is what I'm doing this tomorrow. I'm going to try and get there nice and early tomorrow. All right, everyone. I'll see you guys at Sky Cabin. Hopefully, I'll make it on time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are making it our way to Sky Cabin. Hopefully I do not have to wait another five minutes for to go around. All right. Probably got some good shots of Not Fairy Farm. Of Not Fairy Farm, especially of hang time, which I've still not been on it. And stay tuned, guys. In the next couple of weeks or so, we will be reviewing Calico River Rapids. And the <laughs> oh dang it. Screw it up. We're right back. Oh, they're getting off. We're right back. Alright, here we go. Oh, I thought we were getting on. No. Okay. Relaxing and find one of the air conditioners. There you go. You'll love it. Oh. Oh, 
Back from Ladies and gentlemen, we have just been cleared to land in Knoxbury Farms Boardwalk. Please make sure you have collected all luggage and personal belongings you may have brought on board. If you require assistance exiting the sky cabin, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have exited. One of our crew members will then be pleased to assist you. On behalf of Knoxbury Farm and the entire crew, we are looking forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Ah, they got him! Okay, I hope the money's feeling there. Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, they got him. They got him. One second. Look, they found the box. They found the box. Oh, we're going to put that hitch in later. <laughs> nice work, boys. Good work, Tiny. <laughs> nice job, Scruff. Get around! Get around! Nice work, boys. And we are going to have a hitching when we come back. We got him! Woohoo! Come on over, everybody. Citizens of Jellico, may I present to you Honest Cody Sullivan and Jasper Whisper Whitley, two members of the notorious Mad Buck Gang. You were untruthful.
it ain't an official election or ballot, so we, we can't use the ballot box. That wouldn't be right. i tell you what we do. i tell you what we do. I'm going to give each side of this argument. Well, how much time have we got? I'm going to give you uh, what, 50 minutes. I figured that would be nice for the whole day. You go out and do the count. You round up as many people who agree with you as possible. You take them all down to Calico Park at 5.30 when we're having the whole down. 5.30 when we're all there celebrating. All call out. Everybody wants it to be made for a day with stand over on one section. And everybody wants to keep it bound they can stand in another section. And we'll see how the votes decide, all right? So you got 50 minutes. Understood. Why are you just standing there? Oh! 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 Oh
Well, my name is Honest Cody Sullivan, and yes, everything man, I say is true. I'm going to finish time. And what should I do? I told her like, that I'm going to call me Raymond. <laughs> See, another thing I'm good at is the choice of words I make. Um, which, hey, I'm an outlaw. But that's what you have to make sure you're good and make sure you take care of your mom. Or you end up in a timeout place like this. It's not a bit of timeout place. You got the sun and everything. I think I'm 
gonna have some of fun. Maybe a day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, happy Mayfield Day, Calico. Oh, where are you, Scrub? Get over here. I'm gonna run up a pause for Scrub, everybody. You know, for far too long, have we referred to the Mayfield as well, scoundrels, yeah. villains, pads, stinkers, rats, ne'er-do-wells, ne lousy, dirty rats, no good, uh, no bag, stinkers, uh, doo-doo heads. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say to you and your family, uh -huh. and wait a minute, where is your family? Well, as a matter of fact, you can probably, uh, well, there.
to our beloved community while this band plays a very merry tune. Now, traditionally, in a service, he does not let everybody hold hands. But if you got youngins with you, you can march along, that's fine. And if you get tired, if it's too hot, you can step off to the side at any time, that's fine as well. And it is also considered a great honor to lead the Serpentine. And this year, well, that honor falls to the person I've got the best mustache advice in my life from, Mr. Davenport. Will you come up here and do it? Get up here. Who you got with you there? You got left with you. Okay, how about Randall Ross left? All right, everybody, get in the line behind him. Here, line up, line up. We'll make a train. Are you ready there, Mr. Davenport? Uh huh. All right, how about a little Serpentine music, fellas? And away you go! <laughs> Oh, we're going right through the barbecue. <laughs> Thanks, Chester. Are we doing all right? So far, so good. Summer nights for you tonight, but that will be it. 
We'll be back here next, next Thursday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, because next Wednesday is season my birthday, which I'm not going to do. And oh boy. Looks like for you guys want to know what this song means, if you rise of the resistance, I, I just checked someone on Twitter and uh. Boy, there's one thing there that's not making me very happy right now. We haven't got an actual confirmation yet. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. We'll grab that. Alright folks, please make sure to remain fully seated at all times with no eating, drinking, smoking, or flashing photography. Feel free to take as many pictures and videos as you like. So make sure your camera flash is turned off and please keep all arms and legs inside. With that being said, let's go find ourselves some gold all aboard. And we're on train too, so. Here we go. So I keep all waiting in line each time. Howdy, folks. This here is old Old Cat Mahoney, and I am delighted to take you into the famous Calico Mine, the richest gold strike this side of the Mississippi. Who cares? 
here with this here mind. Remember, one spirit spark in the longest last in the kingdom come. Thank you.